we take you to the first of the many milestones to expect, there are a few things to remember. First, you need to know that you cannot be drawing conclusions according to these milestones. Your pediatrician will tell you exactly what to expect when it comes to your child's development. Secondly, you have to look at different milestones if your baby is premature or is a baby with special needs. A baby with special needs will definitely have a different chart when it comes to the growth milestones and the developmental milestones. This will help you realize what are the developmental stages according to them which go on a normal state. Today we have with us Ms. Rashna Kudesia who is a parenting expert and will let us know what is it that we should expect in a child's first year. So uh, Ms. Rashna, will you first uh, help us in understanding what baby milestones are? Uh, we call baby milestones when one step of development has been achieved. So the child has achieved a milestone and each developmental milestone or a skill achieved is very important that's why it is a milestone now initially when a child begins to grow in from zero to one so the first thing is that he holds up his head so that is the first moment milestone so with respect to moments holding up head your turning movement or movements of your legs and arms which kind of strengthen you and then the child begins to crawl and then he, he can sit on his own and then finally he begins to stand or maybe even walk. Right. So these are the physical milestones and otherwise the child listens very intently from uh, the time he's born and he starts taking out sounds and uh, then monosyllables like mama, papa, dada, these come in. So he's able to, he understands more words but he's able to speak at least four to five by the time he is uh, one year old. So these are the important milestones that a child achieves and definitely holding things, uh, his finger movements and uh, trying to play with blocks etc. So that definitely happens at this time. Right? By the end of the first month, you might feel that you need a reward for hitting this milestone of your own. For some of you, it might just go by in a blink but for others, it might feel like a year. Time duration can be a bit of a problem and a hassle when you have a newborn baby on your hands. So, Ms. Rachna, also, uh, are there any developmental signs that we can look out for in uh, a baby's first one to three months? Uh, the first month is actually very, very crucial for the child and uh, because he has to, he loses weight and he has to regain his weight. So the signs that you can look for for baby's health and well-being in the first month is that he's having adequate feeds and uh, preferably breast milk as we all say and uh, and he's healthy, you know, sleeping and eating at the right time and not cranky and not crying. So these are the things that you can look and look for. And even the child's vision in the first month is a little blurred and he can just maybe focus between 8 to 12 inches. But beyond that, we can definitely look for some milestones because then the moment becomes better and uh, after three months, they are able to respond, look at you and uh, smile and maybe sometimes laugh and uh, again, they listen very intently to what you say and pay attention which you can easily figure out. Right? The developmental signs in a baby will start to look a little more significant when they enter the age of two to four months your baby will start looking more of a baby and less like a newborn. Their features will start to look more distinct. Their faces will start filling up. They also might turn into quite a crying, pooping and sleeping machine. So, uh, can you also tell us that what are the three major developmental milestones if you have to say uh, in a baby's life? Uh, in the first year, the three major development milestones are uh, definitely crawling, sitting on your own and standing and maybe some children are able to walk at that time. And uh, with respect to speech, uh, they should be saying a few words by the end of first year. And with respect to socialization, they should be responding with a smile, with the excitement of their hands and feet and you know that the baby is interacting with you and is able to tell you uh, the, uh, his or her own needs with respect to their gestures. 
But so, uh, according to you, uh, how much hold on language would a one-year-old baby have? Uh, that is that the baby listens very intently and they try to reproduce what they hear, which definitely comes out as sounds because they still don't have teeth. Uh, so, uh, they are able to identify words like their own name. They respond to their own name and if somebody says Papa, they look at the Papa. If somebody says Mama, they look at the Papa. Or, uh, the chair or the table or their favorite people so even if they can't speak they do understand these words in their mind and uh, they should be able to speak simple words uh, like mama dada papa or uh, maybe uh, they deny they make their own words like uh, for pick me up yeah. you know lay low or something yeah so in hindi yeah. that is it so uh, this is the language about uh, for a funnier. So you think they focus more on the gestures as well? Yeah, yeah, because they try to communicate and when they are trying to communicate and they know if they, they can't say the right word, so they make the gesture, right. they yeah, pick me up. You yeah. know, so their language, if you said use the word language, so sign, uh, signs and kind of gesture language and body language is much more enhanced in the first year. Right, right. The first two months can be very very rough but by the time the third month starts you realize that your baby is comparatively independent and is able to occupy themselves so you can take out some time and take a nap or something like that. By the time the fourth month reaches you realize that your baby's actions are becoming more defined and much better. Our little one is getting much better with movements they are also getting much more stronger. By this time, you can also expect some giggles or maybe even peals of laughter from them. If your baby is not able to roll over, you can expect that by the sixth month. You can also expect your baby to try to mumble out some words, for example, mama or dada. This is also the time when they'll start to reach out for things. So make sure you baby proof your house, which basically means remove all the sharp or the harmful objects that can cause baby some distress. By the eighth month, you realize that your child is moving a lot more. They might also start crawling. They might also try to stand up with the help of all the furniture and objects nearby. So look out for that baby cloth. This is the time that your child also might try to say out words and by the ninth and the 10th month, their pronunciations when it comes to babbling will become much more accurate. And as I said before, they will most probably start saying words like mama, dada, mom, and stuff like that. As we mentioned earlier, these baby milestones for the first year are just approximates. So you should focus on your baby's development instead of comparing them to a blog or another baby. Make sure that you are tracking your baby's growth if you are worried about their developmental milestones. You can also speak to your pediatrician about all these things. So take care and all the best till the next time.